Uh, I'm a fashion designer. I make clothing and uh, fashion accessories. And I travel and sell my brand up and down the East Coast of America. And I sell online too. For me, it's kind of part of my spiritual journey. I've been watching different videos and I've started learning about it. Dolores Cannon was a big eye-opener when I started following her. And um, it's something that I kind of always believed in. And, and yeah, and I always thought, hey, if I ever have a chance to do that, I want to give it a try. Yes, once. It was really good. It was profound. It was life-changing. Um, a lot of questions I had were answered in that session. And five out of five would recommend. It, because of the fact that it's something that um, I didn't see, see in the mainstream all the time, there were some questions that I had about it. Um, one of the questions was I didn't know how, how I personally would do being put under and how that whole process would go, but it was good. It was, it was, it was easy for me. Well, it's like being, um, it's like you lay down and you're being spoken to very softly and you're being coached into uh, like a meditation. If you've ever done meditation before, it's very similar. When you have like a guided meditation and you just put in a very relaxed state. For me, it was a good experience. I liked it. It wasn't scary at all. I remember everything. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so it's not like somebody coaches you and then you're put to, to sleep and then you fall asleep and then you start talking, can't remember anything. No, I am conscious and awake the entire time. Um, there's part of me that's still aware of everything that's happening. Um, it's not like somebody flips a switch and then your lights out and can't control anything. You're completely aware the entire time. And um, it's like taking a nap, but being able to like talk through the nap. So it's very relaxing and you're super helpful. I love your voice. It's very soothing to hear and you're very nurturing and loving. Um, when we're put under and uh, yeah you're completely in control as far as uh, you're not like blacked out you're completely aware of what's going on yeah um, I was very very comfortable I felt safe um, and it's it's actually surprising how how comfortable it is you know um at one point i was so relaxed i thought i was gonna fall asleep <laughs> i did not fall asleep um but that's how comfortable that you can get that hey that might happen and i've heard that happen that's okay that's all right <laughs> When you're asking the questions, um, like for example, you would ask us to like describe what's around and my mind is seeing all around and I can picture everything. And when I'm in that state, um, it's like my thinking brain is still there and active, but it's taking a back seat. It's kind of just like listening to what's going on and you're able to talk to yourself while it's happening. But the words that are coming out are from your subconscious. Well, so my the the visual mind was still uh, processing things because when you asked me to look around and everything, I could do that. I can look around and I can see things. So visually, my mind is active. Um, I can hear things. If you wanted me to smell things, I could do that. So like all the senses were active but the part of my brain that's like um, specifically choosing to do something felt like it took a back seat. It felt kind of like uh, watching a movie. Yeah, just like watching it play out. And my mouth is just kind of like the narrator for that film. Like, hey, this is what I see, this is what I hear, this is what I taste, and that. 
um, so that your thinking mind is is not in jeopardy at all and it's not threatened because all you're doing is sharing a scene. Yeah, so there's nothing to be scared of for that because if you're watching a movie with a friend, you could describe it to them and it's no big deal. It's kind of the same thing. Well, um, I would say just answer what first comes to mind. Um, don't fight it. If, you know, if he wants to ask you a, a question about color and the color that you want to blurt out and see or say is blue, go with it. Just go with the, your first intuition um, because that seems like that's what's guiding you through this whole process is going to be your intuition and your gut and just believing in yourself and believing that what you see and what you feel is the truth. If you can just let go and have trust, you're gonna have a successful session. I think that that is probably the best proof that what's happening here is something real because so often, you know, if I'm asking about a traumatic situation, the conscious part of my brain of course i'm gonna be like yeah everything's fine everything's great so to hear my subconscious like say some of those things that are in opposition to what i want to hear i feel like that's that's kind of what sometimes we need to hear that we need to hear that it's not always what you want but what you need to hear and i think that that's the case so if someone's like in a session and they feel like maybe they're, they should, they're struggling to like say what's coming to mind, just go with it. Just be open and share that. Um, and just trust because this process is trusting that part of yourself so that you can get results and nobody knows you better than yourself. A lot of times you're questioning yourself. You're like, no, this can't be it, but this is you. This is the inside of you just trying to connect with you. So just trust it. I did get answers to my questions. Um, in one session I had a very big question and I did not get the answer I wanted. And that was to my benefit. Uh, first when I heard, heard it, um, I was like, no, 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 that's not what I wanted to hear. <laughs> but in hindsight, when I look at it, um, it's not what I wanted to hear, but it's what I needed to hear. And it's because, you know, in my mind, I was like, oh, if I have the answer to these questions, I'll be fine. And in retrospect, I just, I needed to dig deeper and go deeper inside and do some shadow work. And that's why I, that's why that happened. That's why I didn't get the sunshine butterfly answers that I, that the conscious mind wanted. I got the real hard truth that I needed to hear to heal. And I'm super duper grateful for that. <laughs> That was, uh, it, it, it was such a blessing. In the moment, I, I kind of left the session going, man, I really didn't want to hear that. But when I kind of sat with it, it was a blessing. It's what I needed to hear. Yes, I did. Um, with, with family members and relationship and tools and methods and things that I need to know to be able to work through those relationships so yes yeah some definitely some really big breakthroughs actually <laughs> breakthrough after breakthrough <laughs> in this session too I visited one it seemed like really far in the past when there was like electricity wasn't even a thing and then one in the future actually a future tense past life um, up to almost 500 years in the future sure so in this future life um, apparently mobility was the big thing theme of that one um, people were going like instead of just walking down the sidewalk you can get this like floating chair and that chair would like float you around <laughs> And it was mostly for people who had disabilities, you know, because in the future, the cars also looked very, you know, futuristic and they had like the mobility devices to go with that tech. However, because that it seemed like human beings were walking a lot less, 
And so I was a person that was completely enamored with shoes <laughs> and walking everywhere was such a big deal. And also that nature, if you wanted to live in nature, there was a vetting process for you to be able to live in the nature because it seemed like everybody was put in cities, which was interesting, fascinating. <laughs> Yes, because one of the one of the things that I always daydream and fantasize is about traveling the world and like going around and seeing everything. And I think that that was also a big theme of this past life was somebody who was completely enamored with walking. And it was almost like a reminder that you have this in you, that you have this desire to walk the earth. And that's kind of what they were pushing me for this lifetime is that I need to walk the earth. So of course they showed me a, a life that was completely enamored with feet and walking and shoes. So it makes sense. Yes, um, I got some answers about things that I did not expect. And I think that is probably something that everyone should kind of expect to just go, go in thinking and knowing that what you have in your mind for what you, sh what you want to hear might not always be what you get. Um, so yes, I did hear some things that were surprising to me, but in a good way, they were surprising in a really good way. No, my voice stayed the same. Um, some words um, took a while to, to come out and that's normal. I think that that's just my brain kind of searching for the right vocabulary in its database to match up with what I'm trying to say. And then other times I was very quick to respond. And I think that what's going on is just like what I said, like I'm just looking for the right words to connotate what I'm trying to describe. And so the, my voice stayed the same, but the method and the way that I s sounded as far as like, maybe I'm gonna talk a lot faster or maybe I'm talking a lot slower, but it's still me and it's still my voice. It's not like I changed into a different person or anything. It's, it's still my voice. During the session, I felt like we got extremely connected um, and that's because, or the, the reason I say that is because some of the things that I were seeing, some of the answers that I was responding to, um, it felt like it came from a deeper place, um, and a place of wisdom because a lot of the things that we're asking on the surface level, I'm asking these questions because I'm lost about the answers. So it's not surprising that it would be from my higher self pulling in the answers for these questions that I I could not answer on a regular day to day but during the session like everything that I that felt right that I probably needed to hear did did come out in that session I felt like that was my higher self guiding me through um it feels very natural. It feels very natural. I think that one thing that people need to remember when they go into these sessions is that your higher self is you. It's not a, a separate entity. It's not like you're gonna have a voice that you've never heard speaking in your ear or answering these questions. It is yourself. You are yourself, you're connected to your higher self. So just trust that what you're hearing, what you're seeing, um, is what you need to know. Your higher self is there, uh, and it's the one that's kind of answering these questions and guiding you through. So just tr trust that. Trust and know that what you're saying is what you need to hear and it's coming from them. I tried to stay relaxed and you did a really great job of setting me up and putting me in a relaxed state. Um, so I think that's how, yeah, that's how I was able to just maintain that connection, just being relaxed, know that I'm in a safe place, trust the process, and, and yeah, and just be okay being still and letting the answers flow.
there was a couple of times when I can hear the, cause like I said, you're not, it's not like you're asleep, you're, you're awake. And there were a couple of times when I was seeing the first uh, past life that I was questioning it. I was like, oh, I don't, I don't know that this is what I want to see. I, I heard myself in my own head saying that. And I had to say, you know, just trust it. Just trust it and believe and just go and just share what, what you're seeing. And I think part of me or that chatter in my voice was saying, no, 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 this isn't right. Is because it, was a, it wasn't something pretty. It wasn't something nice. Um, and I think that's when, you know, that part of your brain clicks in that's like, no, <laughs> we don't want this. So you start, you, you know, you hear that part of your voice. It's like, yeah. So I just relax, trust. It's okay. It's okay. Part of the healing process is messy. It's not all sunshine and rainbows. If it was all sunshine and rainbows, we wouldn't be here. <laughs> So yeah, sometimes you're gonna see things that are a little bit darker and that's okay. Just trust the process. You need to see these things sometimes. I would say um, just whatever you're seeing, describe it as best as you can. And if you need a minute to formulate the words, go ahead and give yourself that grace. Um, because there were some times when I could not answer immediately. I did need to give my own mind a moment or two to gather the words. And that's okay. That's okay. Give yourself some time to gather the information. Give yourself some grace. There's no rush to this. Please take your time. <laughs> yeah. Um, his. Well, Sam, your voice is perfect for this. It was what I needed to get me there. In fact, I could listen to you give me guided med meditations all the time. Um, so you should do that. <laughs> but I would say to anybody who's on the fence or thinking about um, doing this and isn't sure, just think of it this way. You know, through life, you, you're walking and at some point you might start limping. So a therapist is going to sit you down and said, hey, let's take off your shoe and see what's making you limp, right? That's what therapy is for. And then they take off your shoe and they can go, oh, well, you've been cut. Let's heal the cut. And so you do the therapy session work, which is fantastic. But when you do a past life session, you're going to go, okay, you're cut, but let's take a walk down the road and see what cut you. And let's make sure that you know that so you don't walk down the same path again. And then it just helps you now to just walk straight in this life. So that's one of the major benefits of this type of session. It goes beyond just let's heal the cut. It goes, let's see what caused the cut in the first place. Yes, I do. I feel like this therapy session feels like 10 years in one <laughs> session. So it's profound, but my God, does it do the trick? And the other therapy sessions that I went to, um, it took a really, really long time to get to the core of a lot of the issues or a lot of your life themes. And I feel like these hypnosis sessions like do all of that you know you can deal with your your present trauma you can see what what kind of what tools that you can use from your past life to help you in this one you can see why you are the way you are about certain things in your life um god so many good things like i would recommend it to anybody and everyone because <clears throat> Just the amount of time that you're you're condensing and 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 putting into one session to help you move forward. That's God. That's that's it right there. You know, because um, yeah. Why would you want to keep going back? Wouldn't you want to just? <laughs> hey, this is it. Okay, let's look at it and let's deal with this. It's extremely helpful. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for. 
answering all these questions for our viewers. Yeah. yeah. And please, please do this. Give it a try. You deserve happiness. You deserve to know. And you deserve healing. So please give it a try. Um, I love you.